Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So the, in the last video, you saw how to find the uh, gradient for the last layer for the weights parameter and for the bias. Okay, so this is what we saw in the last video. Now in the in this video, uh, what we are gonna see is how, uh, we are going to see what will be the gradient for the hidden layers. Okay, so let's see uh, what we derived yesterday first. So we derived D L divided by W I J is going to be nothing but delta of J L times A I L plus one. Okay, and for D L uh, B J L, it is going to be nothing but. It is going to be nothing but uh, delta j of l. So this is what we derived in previous video. Okay, I hope that it was clear. So now in this video, let's make a neural network first. So let's suppose we have this inputs, then we have this hidden layer, then we have this hidden layer, and then we have this output. Okay. So in the last video we saw how to update the weights of these on this part okay now let me just throw this so let's suppose this is the layer l this is l plus one this is uh this is l minus one and this is the capital l so in this part what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the weight updates of this so this is what i'm going to find and to the subscript i'm going to use it as i i i'm going to use them as j j j and i'm going to use them as k and k this is going to be the my subscript so I am finding this W, you can also use the same formula that I am going to explain here to find this. But if I will uh, find this, then it will be easy to explain. But you can uh, like after this layer, na, it is same for all of this. Okay, so it doesn't matter that much. But yes, uh, it is it is easy to explain on this layer. So let's suppose, let's see again what we need to find is, uh, we need to find uh, del uh, the lows with respect to d w i j and of the lth layer so we are finding the lth layer and uh, the weight matrix of the lth layer that is going to be this and it is going from i to j okay so this is i and this is j this is what we are finding out so what we are saying here is that we have the lows okay so let's suppose we have the lows g l by this loss is going to be uh, d z k l plus one so as i said earlier that uh, up until now up until this point we have find we have found the uh, we have already found uh, what do we say <coughs> the lows okay so uh, we can say that okay we know the back propagation lows that we are getting it from here okay i hope that it is clear so we have already find it uh, find this loss in this part that we see so so we are going to use that the same uh, the same uh, loss here then that d of z of k l plus 1 is going to be affected by d of a and j because this j is going to be affected by this a this a i know that you will say that this this z is uh, this z should be affected by this w but as i said earlier that we are finding the weight for this matrix so you can say that okay uh, we have already found the weight uh, weight uh, uh, we have already found the gradient for this also it doesn't matter like just imagine that you have already found this okay now after that uh, after i will understand you all of this you can apply this same formula for this layer also it doesn't matter it is not going to matter that much at all so you can see that for yourself that okay 
how or what I was saying. But let's suppose we have already found um, uh, this part also. So what we are going to say, we say uh, we said that okay, now this Z is going to be affected by this AJ, and now what we say this AJ is going to be affected by ZJ, and then again this uh, Z this ZJ is going to be affected by W of I and J. P of I and J. So this is how our loss is going to work. This loss is based on this parameter. Then this parameter is based on this parameter because we have already found all of these weights. Now then uh, this Z, uh, this A value, the activation value of this is going to be affected by the Z value, and then this Z value is going to be affected by the weight matrices here. Okay, I hope that it is clear. Now this part is nothing but what is this? This is delta of k l plus one. So this is nothing but what is this? This is the delta of this layer that we have previously found. Uh, this is the same thing here. Okay. So um, why is this the same thing? Because we did something like that. Okay. D l divided by uh, this is what we did in the last video that D L divided by D A J and D A J uh, is affected by D Z J. So this is what we did and we converted, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, like we uh, converted this into Delta. So we said that, okay, this part is Delta. So this is what we have done. We have find, uh, uh, we have found out the delta value of the next layer so we are finding the uh, gradients of this layer and we have already found the gradients of this layer okay so i hope that it is clear now now this z uh, this zj and aj is going to be affected by w j k of l plus one so this weight uh, is going to be used by uh, like this Okay, basically, if you will find the derivative of this, then you will get the output like W J K because it is going from J to K and it is of the L plus one -th layer. And as we are also back propagating, um, back um, back propagating the error from this layer uh, from this neuron to all of other neurons so we are also going to use the summation which is going to say k equal to 1 to n okay so we are going to do this for all of them now this part is pretty easy again mm -hmm. this is uh, the same as the previous part so this is going to be the sigmoid function of zj okay and again this part is going to be same it is going to be ai l minus 1 or not l minus one yeah ai of l minus one because we are finding this and now what we are going to do is we are going to name this part we are going to name this part as delta of j of lth layer so i hope that it is clear what we have done here mm. So, uh, as I said earlier that, okay, uh, uh, let me write this again. So, T L divided by T W I J for the Lth layer. This is going to be summation of K, uh, delta of K L plus 1 layer. So, delta of the next layer. Then, it is going to be multiplied with delta of J K l plus one at layer okay then we are going to multiply it with the sigmoid function of zc derivative of sigmoid function and this whole part is going to be this delta of j but it is going to be for the inner layers okay and again uh, the part that we got here like this we are also going to get it here so a i l minus 
the reason that it is different because we are getting it for the different layers okay but otherwise it is same so this is how we are going to get the gradient for the uh, for these layers and as we did in this part that uh, this is going to become one for the bj so this is also true for uh, this part uh, so it is going is it is going to be like this bj with the small l and it is going to be simply like this and uh, delta j with the small l so these are the parameters that we have found and now we can use these parameters to update the weights of our neural network i hope that it is clear but it was very difficult for me to explain because i had to draw everything by my mouse and it is very difficult but if you have any doubts like how to um, how or what i am doing here you can ask me in the comments and what i will do is i will also upload my notes with all of these videos so that you can explain or you can have a better understanding from that part okay and i am sure that after watching those video uh, these videos and after going through my notes uh, it will be very easy for you to understand them but yes watch these videos two three times so you can have a better idea and this was it for this video so i guess i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching